this very special episode of e-inspiration on India Today Television. And today I've got somebody who actually has revolutionized the women's game in India. When you see her bat, you know, those elegant uh, shots right through between, between say, mid-off and uh, uh, cover. And, and you, you love that silk and elegance, right? And every time she steps out and dispatches the bowler beyond the boundary, you're like, what? This is the revolution that we have seen in the women's game in terms of elegance, power, and hitting that we hadn't known before, especially in Indian cricket. Welcome, uh, Shmriti Mandana. Absolute pleasure having you. So tell me, first question, are you looking forward to the WIPL? Because it will mark a resumption of the women's sport in India. Uh, yeah, first of all, thank you, Borya. Very uh, nice introduction. Uh, but yeah, yeah actually, uh, really looking forward to play some cricket. Um, uh, the Women's T20 Challenge, which will be happening in uh, Dubai from 1st to 10th. I think we, are, we all are really excited. And uh, especially for uh, for all of us, we've never been home for six months. And uh, I think playing cricket, going out there, traveling back, uh, you know, going to bat again, uh, feeling the, that nervous, uh, that feeling uh, being nervous before batting. I think we all, I have specifically missed that a lot uh, during last six months. So, yeah, really looking forward to... Uh, play some uh, good cricket uh, out there in Dubai and uh, probably having uh, put put up some good matches. For a performer or a high performance uh, performer like you who has been doing consistently well at the international level the three and a half four months that you've not done anything except you uh, almost took away our jobs in that uh, special uh, <laughs> broadcast that you and Jemima had started so I was scared having set that aside <laughs> but how hard was that how hard was that I mean when you really stepped out there uh, uh, for example KL Rahul tells me he did not know whether to smile or cry it was that exciting <laughs> Bhuvaneshwar Kumar says in Hindi, wo bacho wali feeling aa rahi thi. in your case, how was it? I mean, what? give me a sense of the real Shmiti Mandana, the emotion. Uh, I think when I uh, first connected a leather ball after probably three and a half, four months, I, I just like, it just took me back to my injury days when I got injured, uh, when I was injured in, uh, like I had torn my ACL. So I had not batted for almost three and a half, four months. And that was the longest I've not batted ever uh, before before that so it just went back to that moment and i was like oh shit i was like i was actually so grateful that uh, we actually get to do uh, something day in day out what we love and we never kind of valued it whenever we were too busy we used to be like Are, thoda break chahiye. and all of these things used to used to come come in as sports person like because we travel so much we are on the road so but i don't think uh, going forward that will come because um, now 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 i think we'll be extremely grateful that we are able to actually just uh, go out there, uh, meet people, bat, actually like uh, batting, I think, uh, yeah, I think the way uh, they both said, I think it was a similar feeling uh, for me. I just felt, um, I just felt so, so, so good when the ball middle and I actually, I just felt weird. It just, I, I was like, because I had just batted five, six days on tennis ball before going, going on leather ball because I was practicing down in my colony. So when I actually hit the leather ball first, I just felt that, uh, oh, I have forgotten to bat for the like first 10-15 uh, minutes, but then I got the hang of it. So initially I was very scared ki pata nahi kaisa hoga, I would I be able to uh, hit the same way the way I was hitting before lockdown or it will be different. So yeah, and last, and three and a half months I think at home, uh, I I thought it would be, it would be extremely, extremely tough, but uh, I think luckily everyone, uh, everyone has, one was home, mom, dad, bhaiya, bhabi, and we've never spent time uh, together. Um, so I think uh, we had a lot, we had a, a very good time, like hanging out, playing cards, just talking, uh, talking to each other. And I don't think we had that time. Like I, I think the first two and a half months, I was all, all good. I was very happy. But like later on, it just, I just felt okay. I need to get back. I need to get back. I need to get back on. Uh, on ground, I have to start running, I have to start um, uh, hitting balls because the gym, gym was the only thing I think we were able to do because uh, I had a, a small setup of gym at home. Okay, 
And, and, and that's exactly what is uh, in our case as well. You know, initially all of us were like, oh, everyday shows, everyday work, can we get a break? But now I don't think for the next three years, <laughs> any one of us will ever say, oh, you know, we want a long break. None of us want yeah. it. None of us. Having said that, <laughs> Shmiti, you know, England is playing a series against... Uh, uh, you know, uh, the West Indies, Australia is playing a series against New Zealand. So in a sense, the women's sport will once again resume with this WIPL. While I know the scheduling is not ideal, I mean, there is a clash with the WBBL. You would have played the WBBL in normal circumstances. But at least this will give the Indian girls, uh, not the elite performers like you, but every other Indian girl as well, some game time, which I think is important. Your thoughts on that? Uh, well, yeah, I think, um, yeah, definitely, as you said, it is clashing with WBBL, but uh, I think we are living in different times. Uh, this wouldn't have happened uh, normally because it would have happened probably in April or May. Uh, generally, it happens at that time. But uh, now, because of the pandemic, I think uh, there was probably there was not many options uh, in hand for us to organize. And I'm really happy that uh, uh, BCCI took this decision to have a, a women's T20 challenge going forward, which was declared. Uh, because I think uh, Big Bash V4 four or 5 was, I don't know how many were, uh, I don't I was not in touch with many. But I think 3 or 4 girls might have got an opportunity to play some cricket. But now uh, I think we might have like 28, 30 girls from India playing uh, Women's T20 Challenge and I'm not uh, still aware of the overseas players. But I think um, that, will, uh, that will kind of give a uh, good head start uh, for the Indian cricket, women's Indian cricket season to start. Uh, because 30 girls uh, getting to start. Uh, starting playing cricket um, on a professional front uh, so yeah that will make a huge difference so i'm i'm pretty happy uh, with the decision so i think uh, for uh, for me as a player it's more important uh, that indian cricket is women's uh, indian cricket is developed and uh, uh, yeah um, so but yeah of course big bash is also a very good experience we we have a good fun we we get to lot get a lot to experience we learn a lot of new things uh, but that's okay i think uh, there's always a next year for that Absolutely. And, and I like this attitude of yours. I mean, you are the future. You are the future in many ways. Everybody knows you will lead the country at some point in time. I mean, that, that's why you need a developed base. Only a Shmiti Mandhana or a Harman Preet Kaur or a Shefali Verma can't do it. We need, we need 11, we need 20, we need 30. Shmiti, in the few years that you have been at the top, have you seen that depth gradually start to happen to make the final, uh, you know, this year uh, was, was a tremendous experience for India. And you now have a Shafali Verma who can ease the pressure of you a little bit. You have a WV Raman. You have good facilities. Uh, what, is, what is according to you the progress like or has been like in the last few years in, in the women's game? I think progress has been massive uh, in the terms of facilities. Uh, the uh, even the kind of girls we are, uh, we, are uh, we are getting in the team at the moment, uh, the young talent uh, and the amount of actually girls uh, starting to play cricket, that is massive. Uh, more than anything, I think uh, the, a very positive side is that so many young girls, like I, I see around a lot of girls age, like their, their age will be 9 or 10 and they're just starting to play cricket, wanting to play cricket for India uh, because it has been televised so, uh, televised so often, we are on television that small girls young girls watch watches and they want want to play for india they want to go out there and bat or bowl like mitali raj julan goswami harman pritkor so they want to do these things so i think uh, more than anything uh, i think uh, this is one big positive sign in women's cricket uh, in the last i think 3 to 4 years and and as you said i think uh, the depth has um, definitely especially in t20 cricket uh, i think one day was our strength always um, but in t20 cricket i think our uh, depth is getting uh, better day by day. Uh, it's, um, I think, in last uh, two uh, T20 World Cups, we, we made it to the semi-finals and then this year we made it to the finals. So I think um, it is getting better. So hopefully it keeps getting better and we go one step ahead and get the cup. Yeah, that's the one, isn't it? That's the one for both men and women. I mean, that's that one hurdle India has not been able to cross in the recent past, which we badly need to. Uh, Shmriti, is it a mental thing? Is it, is it what? I mean, obviously you have the talent. You beat Australia. Uh, I, I remember your, your opening shot. And, and, and it was tremendous, uh, uh, you know, in that tournament. Is it a mental thing that when it comes to the final, does it start playing on your mind? Something like a PV Sindhu syndrome when uh, eight, nine finals you lose, but then she managed to break it. I'm sure you all will also break it. Is it more to do with the mental thing or why? 
I mean, how do you explain the finals jinx? Um, well, actually, um, to be frank, we all were really uh, in a good zone before the final. We, we uh, Raman sir made uh, Raman sir actually had contributed a lot uh, in not making us feel that it's a World Cup final, or rather, we are just playing a World Cup. He always said it that okay, we are going to play a tournament. Don't think about anything. Like he was, he was making us uh, feel like it's just a normal series. Don't. Uh, Put a lot of pressure on yourself, thinking it's a World Cup final. Uh, but yeah, I think unknowingly, uh, somewhere uh, probably the the thing that okay, we are playing a World Cup final, and and even like uh, even we have to consider that uh, like in our domestic cricket, we don't have semis and finals as much as a Australian or a England English team plays a knockout game. So, so uh, if 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 you say uh, Big Bash, they constantly play semis they play final uh, in their in their stuff they play we have a lot of league matches in our domestic circuit but we don't have much of semis and finals we have probably one or two or or probably we don't have that high pressure matches uh, in our domestic circuit so that a girl is uh, ready to play for uh, final so i and i don't think this is a reason this is not an excuse we have to get better we have to uh, keep learning but but yeah i think this can also be a case a case of we not having uh, enough um, enough experience of knockout matches because i think it's a different ball game when it comes to knockout matches it's about okay. um, it's it's more about uh, handling your nerves than your skills uh, so um, so i think yeah that that the point you made i think uh, we have to point. get better and yeah that's a, that's and that's that's actually a very good point Shmiti. i mean handling sort of nerve more important than skill is a very very interesting point you're making and and i think that is the case because clearly you have the skill i mean the indian men's team has the skill the women's team has the skill so it's that one one hurdle that you actually need to cross and i'm sure i'm sure sooner than later you will uh, shmiti tell me something i mean when when i think of the wipl uh, the women's t20 challenge and i think jaipur last year people waiting to queue and get into the ground 20 plus 1000 people for that final uh, again this year the final of the world t20 are you are you sort of confident that our women's cricket is now poised maybe once this pandemic is over in 22 a year from now or a year and a half are we poised for a full-fledged women's ipl what's your thought on that uh well definitely i think uh, we have at the moment uh, uh i i wouldn't say a team ipl but um I think that uh, BCCI is uh, good to decide that how many teams IPL we should start with, probably five, six to start with. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, we have to, uh, uh, the kind of response women's cricket is getting in India, the kind of numbers, uh, like I think we played a series against South Africa and Surat, we were, we got uh, full house. We, as you said, the last year's women's T20 challenge was uh, was unexpectedly uh, watched by so many people on, on stadium. Uh, and I think I wasn't part of the final. Uh, I was watching it because my uh, like trailblazers were uh, not playing the final. So we uh, we all were watching the final. So I actually felt um, the the whole atmosphere felt unreal for women's cricket. I was I was actually I was just feeling very nostalgic watching everything like oh the whole ground uh, just cheering cheering uh, for all the girls. And it was uh, and then I got to know that there are a lot of people who are still waiting but they are not able to come inside. So all of these things, I think uh, uh, it it felt good. I felt like okay, wow, it's like uh, it's it's growing, and even the MCG, I think the whole atmosphere. Uh, just just when I was standing at deep midwicket and watching the whole stadium uh, filled, I think those all things. Uh, uh, yeah, I think uh, we, the, if we start a women's IPL in one and a half year or one year, whenever I think BCCI feels, but. Um, I think we have to uh, start it because if we have to get women's cricket from first, probably if it is at uh, it, it is at a stage of five in a strength of ten in, in the growing stage, then the IPL will definitely push it to eight directly because we have seen that with the men's cricket. And not only I think uh, in popularity wise, it will get a lot of uh, depth in women's cricket uh, as we have seen in men's cricket as well. That from the time IPL has started. Um, all the all the all the boys are ready whenever they play the international level they are used to that kind of pressure they are used to that kind of crowd they are used to uh, people watching them on tv so i think the same will happen with women's cricket as well so um, i wouldn't uh, i wouldn't say that we will yeah Fabulous. we would we would get same kind of uh, things from the first season but i think uh, it's a it's a good time to start and it's a right time to start at the moment 
Oh, absolutely. I mean, I can't agree more with you. That's a very, very well-made point. And Shmriti, give me a sense of the MCG. I mean, 86, 87,000 people on the 8th of March, which happens to be my birthday as well. Yes, it got ruined <laughs> because you all lost, but that's a different matter. What, <laughs> you know, what sort of won that particular day was cricket. Cricket won. 86, 87,000 people at the MCG. Every moment was a statement that the game had arrived, the women's game had arrived. Uh, what was your sense? You were inside. You know, when you saw that gigantic uh, sort of, uh, you know, huge stadium, the amphitheater fill up with 86, 87,000 people, were you feeling vindicated that this, why, this is why you played this game and you are a star, you've made this happen? Give me a sense. Yeah, I think as I said, it just felt very nostalgic. Um, for like, I think I took almost a minute uh, before the final started just to see that. And at that time, I just told also that, okay, this is the only minute, minute you're going to actually watch the crowd. And after that, you're just going to concentrate on the game. Just don't focus. But that in that one minute, yeah, definitely, I just felt um, uh, amazing to see where women's cricket has reached. Because um, I remember I played uh, at MCG uh, in 2014. Uh, and it was, I think, there was not a single person who, who attended the match. It was India versus Australia, of course. And and I used to have a have an ha, have an ab habit as a player that whenever I played on empty stadiums, I used to imagine that it is filled uh, because I I don't know. I kind of felt I I used to feel more motivated because I used to see men's match and I used to feel okay. What that what kind of atmosphere they have and it, it automatically motivates you like as a player because if there's like almost 20,000 people shouting for you, 86,000 people shouting for you uh, to go and uh, get that catch or you know go and hit that sixes. I think it just kind of motivates you uh, though of course um, it didn't turn out that well in the final as I'm sorry for spoiling your birthday but um, no, but, no, that's but fine. Yeah, I that's think... fine. I mean, the fact that you all made the final. Two teams make... I always look at it this way, Shmiti. I mean, the fact is, yes, you may have lost the final, but you made the final. To be able to make that final allowed us to celebrate the game, to celebrate each one of you. I mean, always the glass is half full rather than half empty. That's how you need to look at life. Yeah. Uh, the next and, couple... And I think uh, the know, same... Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, just sorry. Yeah. Uh, same thing happened in the 2017 yeah, final as well. We had uh, we had played in uh, in England in 2014, 2015 around, and even that time we were playing at Lords. That match got washed out, and it was still an empty stadium. And even at that moment, uh, Juludi uh, and me and Shikadi had a uh, had a time because we were very upset. She was like, "Don't worry, we'll play 2017 World Cup final here with the stadium filled." So we still kind of be like, okay, final the TK stadium filled. We were still doubting it, you know. We, we, we will we ever be able to kind of generate that kind of crowd? So so yeah, actually, uh, it's kind of really uh, nice to see people uh, coming in to watch women's cricket and enjoying uh, the atmosphere. Fabulous. I mean, and, and, and what a star you are. What a star you are to be able to do that. You being instrumental along with 20, 21 other women and, and, you know, 10 others in that squad to be able to bring 87,000 into the stadium. How many of us can ever do that? And a billion plus watching in different parts of the world. Uh, it's 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 fantastic, uh, Shmiti Mandhan. Absolutely fantastic. Now, a couple, couple of uh, important questions. Yes, we have achieved a lot. We have indeed. But what are the areas that you want the BCCI, for example, to focus on, for Saurav to focus on? He's just given you uh, a selection committee headed by Neetu David, who, according to me, is perhaps the best of her generation. I'm delighted that Neetu will get an opportunity to sort of contribute back to the game. I mean, a brilliant left-arm spinner in her, in her own right. So you've got a selection committee which is now sorted. What are the other areas you want the BCCI to look after? Um, I think uh, women's the way BCCI is taking women's cricket, uh, it is it's going up quite positively. Uh, and I think, of course, as as we discussed, women's IPL will be uh, a major thing to contribute uh, in the in the growth of women's cricket uh, in the next probably next three to four years because um, that will uh, change a lot of things, uh, especially do change a lot of things in our domestic circuit uh, because a lot of girls will get that kind of experience. Uh, to play alongside all the international players and that kind of quality matches. And yeah, I think um, mostly I feel uh, just I think uh, more of like um, grassroots cricket. I think uh, if uh, if that is even even that if we uh, develop a lot of under 16 tournament was is started. So that's a very positive thing. So uh, even if we uh, if, if we invest a bit more in our grassroots cricket, women's grassroots cricket, 
uh, and get more cricket uh, more women small girls playing cricket i think uh, that would be uh, an amazing uh, an amazing thing and and that will add up a lot uh, to women's cricket going forward because uh, if there's competition the game is going to grow uh, there's more girls playing there's there'll be a lot of lot more competition if there's lot more competition there's a lot of scope of improvement because if if if, if there's competition then you'll be like okay i need to get better i need to get better and uh, individually you actually get motivated motivated with that kind of competition so i think uh, if you have to develop women's cricket uh, we need uh, we need more girls playing a uh, small girls playing it has it okay. has happened in last three years <laughs> my, but i think it can uh, yeah my my final 3 4 minutes on the show shmiti so a uh, couple yeah, of important yeah, yeah. questions said you know what gives me a lot of satisfaction why, not what we watch on prime time television about the negativity the india that i love is the fact that it produces a tendulkar a shmiti mandhana a shafali verma a yashashvi jaiswal people who haven't been born into riches they've made the riches themselves you are a girl next door who's been a success you're an aspirational indian you have given me this inspiration you know to be able to say that yes i can do it and millions of girls will say the same that's the india i love so two questions shmiti captaincy i'm sure it'll happen uh, what will that mean to you at some point and the second question wb raman one of one of my i i think is a real real positive for the for the game a fantastic mind your thoughts on wb and on captaincy uh well i think wb sir uh, raman sir has been uh, and a very instrumental character in last i think uh, two years he's been with the team um he's 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 um, i think uh, the major part of uh, him was uh, just to get uh, girls a bit more east out playing for india we used to have this kind of uh, thing that we used to get uh, we used to get too pressurized playing for india he just came in he just said that okay girls it's it's it's, it's cricket just just play it as cricket don't overthink go out there express yourself don't think about anything i'll handle that and that for a coach to do i think um, that get, get, uh, gives players a lot of confidence and and yeah as i think as left hander he was a left hander he's helped me a lot uh, in batting um i always kind of go to him uh, ask question so uh, this is not happening so this is happening and he always has a solution he always has a solution and a solution which is uh, which is very very valid and it which works quite a lot of times uh, just it just works instantly and and yeah i think about captainship uh, uh, i've been vice captain for three almost two or three years now with the t20 side and uh, i think vice captainship uh, is also a lot a lot of responsibility um because you have to uh, you have to put that a similar kind of effort i wouldn't say the same kind of effort as a captain but i think uh, similar kind of efforts in team selections or even on the ground you have to be quite aware of so yeah i think when i have, i'm not thinking that okay I, it has to come this has to come whenever it comes i think uh, i've i've always led uh, maharashtra team or west zone or uh, all the domestic teams i've been part of or the ipl uh, teams so so yeah i always uh, kind of enjoy it uh, i enjoy that um, that phase of uh, captainship okay. it kind of makes me I, a bit I, more I responsible batter i i understand i understand you can't make a controversial comment and i did not mean it as well i mean i i this is not a show for any kind of controversy i wanted to celebrate you like i've told you already and and that's what we wanted to do celebrate the sport the resumption of sport in a way my final minute smriti are you watching the men's ipl and which team are you supporting <laughs> actually i'm watching it uh, this uh, the i'm watching almost all the matches but uh, i am like quite biased with all the players i don't have one team to uh, it's it's actually not being diplomatic i actually don't have one team okay good to, uh, even better yeah. even better tell me <laughs> yeah. which are the players you are supporting who are your favorites uh see i think uh, of course uh, virat virat abd de villiers and then there's rohit sharma then dhoni um uh, then i think all the young talents the way all the young guys are batting i think it's just very uh, inspirational to just see i think sanju samson the way he's batting uh, i have just become a huge fan of him so at the moment uh, i have i've started supporting rajasthan also because watching sanju samson bat so and the way he's hitting sixes i think that's that's crazy it's just out uh, next level batting i think that is so yeah i think it's just around okay. like whoever is batting well bowling well i just like kind of be like oh wow this is nice i need to learn this uh, oh he did that well or he did he led the team well there i just be like okay i need to learn that <laughs> fabulous on that note priti i know you got to go and practice you do that 
I mean, you, you have served Indian cricket with commitment, with dedication and passion. Most importantly, you're a true devotee. You know, if cricket is, is, is the god and, and, and that ground is the temple, you are the two true devotee that cricket gods love to have. And I'm sure there'll be more power to you. Captaincy will come, that trophy will come, and we will all wait for that particular day to celebrate Smriti Mandhana more. For the moment, I'm delighted that the sport is back. I'm delighted that you will be in the Emirates and we can all see you back and play one of those uh, square drives or cover drives and cheer for you. <laughs> Till then, stay safe, thank you. stay healthy, keep practicing, and thank you very much yeah. for speaking to me. You, you too, Boriat.